Hello everyone. In today's session, I will be explaining the trick for reverse of ozonolysis. Now the first question, A on ozonolysis gives formaldehyde. Now in this question, we know the product that is formaldehyde, but we don't know what is the reactant. So the trick for reverse of ozonolysis is whatever question has been given, just simply write down the structure. Formaldehyde structure is HCHO. So simply I will arrange the structure so that oxygens are linearly arranged plus oxygen there is one more formaldehyde form. So two moles of formaldehyde are formed. The trick is wherever you find oxygen so simply remove both the oxygen and then the carbon carbon will be attached to each other through double bond. So the reactant will be CH2 double bond CH2. So in short ozonolysis of ethene will be giving me the final product as formaldehyde. So the structure A is ethene. Clear? Let us proceed ahead with the next question. A on ozonolysis gives ethanol and propanol. So as I said, first of all, write down the structure of ethanol. So ethanol is CH3CHO plus propanol is CH3CH2CHO. So as I said, you need to rearrange the structure in such a way that both the oxygens are arranged linearly. So I will write down the structure, the first structure CH3CH double bond O plus this thing will be O double bond C. You are going to write down in the reverse way CH then CH2 and CH3. As I said, you are going to remove the oxygen. So simply remove the oxygen, both the oxygens and the oxygen and the carbon atom containing oxygens will get linked together through double bond. So my reactant will be 3 CH double bond CH CH2 CH3 and A the structure is and the name of the structure A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbon we have. The naming is pent 2 e so, pent 2 in on ozonolysis gives ethanol and propanol. Clear? The next question is A on ozonolysis gives acetone. So, again the same way. First, write down the structure for acetone. It is CH3, C double bond O, CH3. So, we will be getting 2 moles of acetone. So, simply arrange the structure. This is CH3, C double bond O. The CH3, I will write it down on top. The second molecule will be arranged in this way. C double bond O, CH3 and CH3. Simply remove oxygen from both the carbon and then the product will be and then the reactant will be CH3, C, CH3, double bond C, CH3, CH3. Clear? Remember, in the previous video, I have already explained the trick for ozonolysis. If the carbon atom containing double bond, it has a hydrogen, the product will be aldehyde. If it does not have any hydrogen, then the product will be ketone. Okay. Let us proceed ahead with the next question. In the fourth question, again, we need to find out A, the product is ethanol and 3-methylbutane-2-ol. First of all, let us write down the structure. This is the structure for ethanol and 3-methylbutane-2-ON. First, write down but group 1, 2, 3 and then 4. On the second carbon, we will be having double bond. On the third carbon, we have CH3. So, this is the structure. For As I said, you need to rearrange the structure. So, quickly we will rearrange. This will be CH3, C double bond O hydrogen plus now remember you are going to take this C double bond O linearly so it will be C double bond O okay and then this CH3 I will write it down on top or below okay this is a CH3 and then restrol will remain as it is this is CH CH3 C 
CH3. Clear? Now simply remove oxygen. This is the oxygen. And then the reactant I will be getting is CH3, CH, double bond, C, CH3, CH, CH3, CH3. Well, the name of the compound A is, first of all, you need to write down the word root. So, select the longest chain. So, definitely this will be the longest chain containing double bond. Numbering will be from left to right. 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 5. And the naming will be 3, 4 dimethyl pent 2 in. Okay, so 3, 4 dimethyl pent 2 in on ozonolysis gives the product ethanol and 3 methyl butane 2 on. Okay, and again the trick behind this is carbon double bond carbon. One of the carbon, it contains hydrogen. So, we get an aldehydic product. And the second carbon, which does not contain hydrogen, will give us a ketone. So, in today's session, we have studied everything about reverse of ozonolysis. In my next video, I will be sharing few few previous years questions, which is repeatedly asked in various competitive exams like JEE, NEET and CET. So, do refer... So, do follow my page on Instagram, my YouTube channel and subscribe my YouTube channel for more interesting videos and let us solve the mystery of chemistry in easier way. Thank you.